Hello friends, how are you all? So today's video is about uh, resuming T session or SSH session for long running processes. So you must have faced the situation where um, you are long running task on a particular remote machine um, and suddenly your connection drops for some reason um, and your session gets terminated and your completely work is then lost. So let's take an um, um, scenario as well um, with the current pandemic situation. So let's um, go through um, this particular background scenario. So nowadays we see that almost everyone is working from home. So which creates um, a major challenge for the organizations to keep their system um, secure. So for that purpose, most of the companies um, usually implement to keep very less time out or very less threshold time on your idle state on a particular session, right? So suppose you logged into your Linux system and ran few um, commands and if you start checking back your emails because you received an email and by the time you read your email, uh, you see that your terminal um, uh, session shows uh, lost network connection uh, due to your idle state or the terminal and hence it closes your terminal session or terminates your session and the other uh, scenarios like you're working and you come across your internet issue and whatever you were running on your Linux system uh, and your session gets terminated and your work is lost and you're over here as well. So, and now suppose you have an activity to perform uh, as a part of your application support role, which requires to execute um, a task or process which runs on multiple, let's say multiple stages or steps with the requirement of um, of user inputs at every step as well. So in such cases, uh, you cannot keep a check or monitoring uh, when your particular step or let's say step one is finished and you, then you are being asked uh, at step two for user input. Hence, um, we can use this particular Linux support utility to overcome um, all these scenarios, right? So this is um, really an important operational Linux command and the command is screen. So uh, screen is such an uh, such a useful utility um, with the help of which you can start a screen session and then you can um, open any number of windows and um, inside that particular session. So processes um, that runs in that screen will continue to run um, even uh, if the window is terminated or closed for some reason. That is somehow you can assume that whatever you are running, it runs in the background. So it is actually running on a, per a particular session. So uh, this can be done with the help of screen. Okay, so um, um, the screen package is usually uh, pre-installed on most of the Linux uh, um, OS system, uh, operating system. Uh, but even uh, you can check it uh, with the help of um, uh, screen uh, hyphen hyphen session command. So sorry, screen hyphen hyphen version, uh, which gives you the version number of the particular screen uh, command utility. But if you don't have um, if you don't have screen installed on the system, so you can install the screen utility on Ubuntu and Debian using um, um, the package manager app. So this is how you can install, or you can install on CentOS or Fedora with the help of yum package manager, right? Okay. Uh, now we need to see how to use this uh, particular utility screen command. So to uh, to start, I mean, first of all, you need to log on to a server, right? Where you want to run your uh, 
job or your um, um, commands whatever you want to run for the operational activity so first um, uh, log on to server s1 let's assume that s1 is our server for now and then you type it as screen so what it will do it will uh, open a screen session creates a new window and starts a se shell in that particular window okay um, and after that suppose I want to run this particular uh, uh, process right or, or this job run jobs prod and hyphen a for I need to cover all the steps uh, suppose it runs on four stages so I need to run all the four stages but now on all uh, it runs on several steps right so let's assume that it is running in four stages or four steps so step one is um, um, deals with disabling Nagios alerts uh, where it requires uh, user input as well right and step two uh, is about application updates and it requires user input to uh, where it, it will ask you for which package to install and the third step is related to DB processing which is going to take a lot of time but it requires a DB password first and it takes time to execute so uh, db password here is a is a user input right and step four is to let's say that it it has to restart tomcat so it is also asking for uh, user input y or n but while running all these things if you are done with step one which hardly takes um, a few seconds to disable the alerts Suppose on step two, it takes certain information from user and it's uh, it updates the application. Okay, and uh, on step two, after step two, just just exec uh, while executing, you are doing something else, right? So it times out or it loses in network connection or uh, you purposefully detach the screen because you know that it is going to take a little more time right so in this case this particular job is running in this screen session right even if the terminal is terminated or the or we lost the connection even right so it is somehow running in the background in that particular session now in the second part we need suppose after some time we get to I mean we realize that uh, we have run some process right and we need to check on it now we go back and resume the session after we lost our connection or the timeout period now again we need to log on to the same server s1 okay and then you type screen hyphen r hyphen r represents resume the session so whatever the session we started with this screen session on this particular server hyphen r will start the same session and what will happen it will start showing what is being actually running over there so we've already executed this step one is finished step two is finished and then it is about to start db processing on step three where it requests the tb password so so when you type this your this part is already finished and it is waiting for user input so it is running on the background and it is still waiting for your user input so when you resume this session you can find that it is waiting for our input once you put your db password input away it's it will start processing your and suppose it is going to take time so again if that if it uh, times out or if you again lost the connection so you can again use the same command to come back to the um, uh, this particular job processing uh, details right so where some let's say that step three gets finished by that time so you'll see that step three is finished and it is asking for step four user input right so this is the way um, uh, you can use the screen utility and um, you can 
purposefully or by yourself also if you want to detach the session suppose you are running you have started screen session and you have started some process and you want to suppose detach the session so you can just press control a and control d so what will happen it will detach your session from the existing uh, 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 terminal session right it will be there but when you uh, type again screen hyphen r so it will bring back to the same uh, processing uh, of this particular job right so this is how um, the it is being used in many production support areas nowadays because of this uh, pandemic situation for internet connectivity issue or for for organizations uh, security concern and with less time out period or, or they have just shortened the uh, idle time period the threshold of idle, idle time period so this is how it is it will be very helpful for each and everyone yeah so this is what we have in this video um, thanks for watching and please subscribe to my channel and share it is as much as you can i know you have been watching my videos i i i, I think and i assume um, by reading the comments that it is helping many of you so thank you for your feedback um, thanks again bye bye